Um, I just want to make a bit of a disclosure before you go ahead and watch the whole video. This cold porcelain um, is really, really nice. It's not the same though as Moderna because uh, although it, it rolls really thin and really easy to work with, it's not quite as invincible as Moderna is. So really depending on what you use it for, uh, you may find that this one is for you at a fraction of a cost or that it may not be the kind of thing you're looking for. So here we go, four ingredients only and are that very cheap and very easy to source ingredients. So is there any wonder that we are all dying for this to work? Let's go and see how we get on. At the end I have troubleshooting but in case you don't get there, can I just uh, warn you against halving this recipe and also be careful with what glue you use. It seems to make no difference what you put in first so I am starting with corn flour also known as starch and here's my glue uh, Hobby Hobbycraft's own. <laughs> so uh, the best glue to use according to the main original source is high tar glue but um, yeah Hobbycraft didn't have any and I've tried different glues with different re recipes mine and across those this has proved to be has proven to be the best now i didn't think i would have enough glue initially so that's why um, my cup of corn flour wasn't 100 percent full and that's where that little bit i've just put in came from now baby oil i think it could be substituted with petroleum jelly but i haven't tried it and vinegar there is just to stop the paste from molding eventually and you could put like lemon or lime juice in it. I tried and it didn't seem to make any difference for the worse. Now you just have to mix it really really nicely and it's very very easy to mix. It takes a few minutes and voila this is what you're looking for. So now according to this recipe I have to boil my cold porcelain uh, for a minute and a half in bursts of 30 seconds which is all well and good However, my microwave only goes up to 800 watts. See, I put it on 100% and no good. So it's a bit of a problem for me really, so I kind of have to guesstimate. And what I'm, but I've looked at different recipes and videos obviously before this, and they all seem to boil to the same thing. You kind of um, cook it in microwave in bursts of so-and-so, mix it in between the steps, and look at the consistency. So I'm going to uh, do it in bursts of 40 uh, seconds, three bursts of 40 seconds to compensate for low voltage and just see where I end up and I'm going to keep an eye on my consistency and go with my gut feeling as opposed to, um, you know, as opposed to uh, what my seconds show. So out for the first time mixing again and there isn't all that much difference really from mixing before maybe a one or two little teeny lumps but that's absolutely fine and in it goes again. So out after the second burst of 40 seconds and this is the lump where it starts to solidify it in the middle. I'm just going to break it down and mix it um, as well as I can. It's not going to be absolutely smooth but I just want it to be evenly mixed just like this. So now I'm about to put it in for the third time. It looks a bit like cottage cheese. It feels a little stickier than cottage cheese. It's not ready yet. Now take a careful look at this picture. Here I took it out 10 seconds earlier and it's a very common mistake to make according to what I've uh, researched and experienced because it looks kind of like it would, it would be okay once it's out but it's actually a bit too tacky and what happens is you take it out and then you kind of play around with it, add more and more corn flour and it never really quite gets there uh, how you want it. So if you undercook it and then add more corn flour, you just end up with harder uh, cold porcelain which kind of cracks So not ruined but not ideal. And this is now uh, three uh, spells of 40 seconds and as you could see it's too hard for the other spatula to handle and it's slightly yellow in hue and it feels completely and utterly ready. So it's slightly out of shot. But basically I'm going to just dollop it on and as you could see, I mean, it's slightly, um, it's slightly tacky, but um, it's um, so much. Uh, it just, se it just seems and feels kind of ready. I decided not to add any paint because I didn't have a dry paint, so I just wanted to eliminate 
um, as many variables as possible so that if my porcelain works really well as as it is and then stops working with paints and at least I know that paint is what the problem is so here as you could see it doesn't actually stick to my hands and it feels very very much like Nivea and although obviously for those who don't know how uh, this works uh, this looks white to start with and then just like a tacky glue does it goes see-through which is why it's important not to forget to add paint uh, later probably easier to the whole batch because otherwise you might forget and it would look fine and then it dries when your work is finished and it's all um, a bit ruined so yeah so far it's looking really really good uh, just as recipe uh, the original source suggested I'm going to play with it and uh, dough it until it's cold and this is my homemade cold porcelain it feels very much like Modena is my last few seconds of mixing it it doesn't stick to my hands and it's looking hopeful so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna bag it and ziplock it and keep it till tomorrow and see what happens Okay, so here, uh, this is what I've ended up with, just under 300 grams, and I've done some mass here, and it's working out that for a pack of 250 of this self-made paste, I would only pay about three pounds, and the cheapest I found in UK is 8.75. Huge. So that's what the plus is, and let's get some other pluses out of the way. It's beautiful to work with, as easy if not easier than Modena, it's responsive to Venus, and it's quite durable, quite, 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 quite durable, good for arranging, arranging and transportation. However, I've kind of bended one of the, uh, one of the petals, uh, it's really really I've just kind of squished it I forgot to put the camera on and when I did squish it this is what happened uh, it probably won't happen by itself very often but it may happen so that's a minus and he will come to another huge huge minus to some of us it really depends what you expect of cold porcelain however here you go it didn't live up to the drop it test unfortunately this is it for today until I find a better recipe which I will for sure post here on my channel I will probably use this one and a bit of Medina thrown in so if you have any comments on this recipe bad or good please drop me a line be interesting to hear and other than that um, I will see you next Thursday hopefully if you like my channel and all the rest of it uh, if you do like this uh, video by the way do share it it does help my channel and I see you again soon Christina Wallace here